bananas. Bananas and bananas. There we go. <clears throat> Hi, I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. I just watch. Here, I'll show you that video by that guy. And you know what he said in his video? The exact same thing I would say. Don't nerf something because it's popular. People are using it a bunch. Make everything else equal to it. So, you know, DE, don't go off and, and nerf things just because people use them a bunch. It just makes you look like a fucking bitch. If you don't like that truth, then fuck yourself. I don't care. How else is there to say it? Don't nerf it. Make other stuff better. You know what the crazy part is? I don't even have a fucking itzel. <clears throat> and I'm going off and saying, don't nerf it. Make other stuff better. Hell. D.E., what the fuck are you thinking? You fucking idiots. Get out of here, crazy Canadian goofy bastards, eh? Get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. <clears throat> okay, everybody may consider this. Please do. You can turn to the fucking mod card system that you've got going. That is your meta, DE. You can just make a card that boosts every other war, not warframe, um, Arcwing. Arcwing speed. Or hell, you can make one specific to other Arcwings. That boost their speed. Well, I've got an idea. You can make a little widget. You go on a mission to get, or you know, make it its own quest line to go and get this little widget that you install in your your mod foundry or your arsenal area or whatever allows you to alter some of the baseline parameters of some of your gear and equipment. Within a certain value bracket. That way people can go off and make other stuff they want to use effective differently in the means by which they want to and, and that ties into gaming isn't an art form it's it's a product and a service to everyone's pursuit of happiness and yeah you, you definitely need to rewrite that declaration of independence so that it reflects today's level of society and how connected everyone is globally because all this bullshit boundaries is just making things worse. There's a lot of philosophy that goes into this thought process I have. But put it plain and simple. DE, the more dumb, bullshit, narrow-minded thoughtless, rampant, knee-jerk, fear response of, oh, this is popular, let's nerf it. The more of this bullshit you do, 
the more you're just gonna piss people off. <sighs> and I can't convey the uh, 30 plus years that I've been a gamer. I can't convey it all to you in, in a single sentence or a series of videos. But I can tell you, DE, don't fucking nerf shit just because people like it. I mean, yeah, it's fucking easy to work on one specific small thing and change it. And it takes a lot more effort to do what's fucking right and provide more options for everyone. But if you put in the fucking effort, you show everyone you're willing to make other options viable or somewhere near equal to Itzel's Blink. You show people that you, you have some honor, some respect, some discipline and self-control. Then shit's going to go a lot better for everyone involved. That's the baseline here. Do what's right, even though it requires all this extra effort, because it's what's right. Not because it's a quick, easy fix. And I'm going to point to some examples of this quick, easy fix bullshit. You've got Anthem, you've got Bethesda. I mean, just look at what they've fucking done recently. With their mobile game and Fallout 76. If you want a bigger example, look at EA. Look at what the fuck they've done. They cram microtransactions, loot boxes, and all sorts of devious bullshit in every fucking game they've got their hands on. DE, quite honestly, if you keep doing dumb shit, I'm just gonna say get fucking EA'd. There, that's all I have to say. Till next time, everyone. Bye.